think of the difference. Okay, this means that we're going to subtract two numbers and we're going to think of the difference or how far apart those two numbers are. And how far apart are 77 and 84? To find that, you can add. That's why it says add here. From 77, how many do you need to add to get to 84? Basically, you can think of 77 plus how many more makes 84. Think how far apart these two numbers are. And the answer is 7. Again here, how far apart are these two numbers? See, they are pretty close, right? Just 6. Yep, the answer is plain 6. Add up to find a difference. What does that mean? Again, we have a subtraction problem, but we're going to add to find the answer. Isn't that interesting? And this is how it works. I go from 37 and I add until I get to 72. Kind of like thinking of the number line. If you were at 37 on a number line, and I'm going to make jumps. First, I'm going to jump to the next whole 10, which is 40. Then I'm going to jump to the whole 10 that is here. And then lastly, to 72. Okay. Let's put here like arrows to show the jumping. And from 37 to 40 is three steps. Over here, 30 steps. And lastly, two steps. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess what you'd want to do, right? Go ahead, real quick. He likes jumping on the number line or whatever. There you go. How much did we add in total? 3 and 30 and 2. We added 35 in total, so that's the answer to this subtraction problem. Okay? Just another strategy. You don't have to use that, you can use some others if you want to.